Hello everyone, my name is Joe Fernandez and in today's guide I'll be going over the memory of lucid dreams essence, what it does and which classes can benefit greatly from it. These essences have been introduced in 8.2 and will have a big impact on our gameplay as a class as well as compositions. Choosing the right essences during certain matchups can help you deal with them in a certain way. The major power of Memory of Lucid Dreams increases your resource generation by 100%. Your resource will be dependent on your spec and form you're in. For instance, if you're a Resto Druid in Feral form, you will gain increased energy regeneration whilst in that form. At rank 3, you will also gain a lot of leech from it, added to increased self-healing as well as an increased duration on the ability itself. It's simple to use, simply on a 2 minute cooldown you can activate it for increased resource generation. As briefly stated, when you use the essence's major power, you will gain 100% resource generation rate depending on your spec's main resource. So this will be used when you want to deal increased burst damage with or without other offensive cooldowns in an attempt to slay your opponent. Some are quite standard and can be very beneficial for gaining increased damage on demand. For example, survival hunters can use it and spam mongoose bites even at 5 stacks, generating huge pressure windows by itself or with another offensive cooldown like coordinated assault. For other specs, it will have less impact resulting in little gain from this essence. For instance, windwalkers gaining energy which only really gets used on tiger palm, vivify or reverse harms, which as you can see is not effective. Even though this essence is very simple and easy to use, it can also be incredibly effective for the classes that gain a lot from their resource. For classes that deal incredible damage with their resource, they can use it and continue to do great burst and using this essence in conjunction with another powerful offensive cooldown, you can easily force big defensive cooldowns or land kills by yourself. Of course, for the specs that don't gain much from having increased resource generation will not really want to take this essence as there will most likely be a more powerful mage essence to take. For example, fire mages can gain quicker fire blast recharge rates, allowing you to gain more instant pyroblasts, increasing your burst damage and being able to have instant casts, making it more difficult for your opponents to deal with. Memory of Lucid Dream's major essence will basically act as another offensive cooldown for classes that benefit greatly from it. As such, in PvP, this means you can use it as another offensive cooldown by itself or pair it with another offensive cooldown in order to kill your opponent. This also means when playing against it, you'll need to be aware when an enemy player uses it as it will deal increased burst damage and could catch you off guard if you see no other offensive cooldowns being used but the Mage Essence itself being enough to deal high burst damage. So it's important to know the power of this Essence, even if you don't use it yourself, your enemies might do, and you'll have to be able to deal with fighting against this Essence or it could be your downfall. The majority of specs will not use this as a major power, but some might to deal increased burst damage, so it's good to know which specs can use it well, or most likely going to use this Essence as a major power. A lot of specs can use this essence as a major power, however it's not going to be a best in slot major power for most of them too. However it's important to note it's still greatly effective and players of these specs may warrant the use of this essence if they rely on these kill windows to win the game. Classes that can benefit from this major power are Destruction Warlocks, Fury Warriors, Arcane Mages, Resto Druids and Survival Hunters. For Druids, this is very simple and effective to use. Simply using it will greatly increase your mana regeneration, so you want to use it whenever you can, regenerate mana whilst not being able to drink. You'll want to take this major power when expecting a long game that will go into dampening and usually be determined on the amount of mana you have. Being ahead on mana could most likely result in the win, so having this major power will greatly increase the chances of you being better on mana than your opposition. As Fury, for bursting as much as possible, you want to use this in conjunction with Recklessness, which will quadruple your rage generation, allowing for an incredible amount of rampages. It also has great synergy with Anger Management, as you'll have far more rage consumption, thus leading to lower cooldowns of Recklessness, allowing you to have more Recklessness windows in an arena game. 
This should be taken when having pretty long games in an overall damage war, and don't need the burst damage from other essences. After your first use of this major essence, you will then spread out your recklessness and major power on use throughout the rest of the game, unless they both come up at similar timings and wanting to burst heavily with them. That way you'll make use of anger management, which will benefit you in longer games. Arcane and Fire Mages benefit a lot from this Major Essence, allowing them to pump out a lot more pressure with the Major Power. For Arcane, it allows you to push more mana out, which you would otherwise struggle to maintain during burst windows, allowing you to increase your burst greatly, much like Survival Hunters. For Fire, it can be a lot of fun to use as the second offensive cooldown in order to pump more instant pressure with Pyroblasts, as previously explained. Survival can use this by itself or with Coordinated Assault to increase their Mongoose Bite usage very highly, allowing them to spam it with 5 stacks, generating incredible pressure. Doing this with Coordinated Assault will do absurd damage and most likely force huge defensive cooldowns in order for the enemy to survive. Generally speaking, this Essence's major power stands out for specs that can either pump out a lot of pressure with their resource, or have it for mana if needing it for longer games of dampening. The minor power of Memory of Lucid Dreams gives you a chance to refund 50% of your resource spent on spells and abilities, and also heals you slightly. At rank 3, when this minor essence refunds resources, you also gain a chunk of versatility for 8 seconds. This is a passive minor essence, yet can be very effective for classes that lack resources and could use the extra boost in order to deal increased damage. It also gives a nice bit of self healing and versatility, which is important for your self defensive stats that can be the difference between surviving an offensive play or falling to one. You will be refunded for the same resource that the major power uses, although it will be a passive proc that will mainly be effective the longer the games go on. Every time it procs, you also gain a small self heal, as well as gaining extra versatility, which is a great stat in PvP scenarios that most classes can benefit from. Again, classes that can dump resources and gain a lot of pressure from it will benefit from this minor power. It has three great effects all into one minor power, which makes it very valuable. Extra resource refund to spend for more damage, so for classes like an Arms Warrior, instead of having a rotation waiting on Rage, Having the refund will allow you to require more globals in your rotation, achieving more damage. The extra self heal from this essence is quite a solid extra bonus, as having increased self healing in any form allows you to deal with incoming pressure with more ease, as well as save your healer more mana. More versatility from the proc can provide you with more damage and increased tankingness, which itself is more valuable in PvP scenarios too, as well as classes that take versatility as a main stat to have. Now, for the minor powers, these are passive so they won't require much thought process, apart from being aware when your resource gets refunded, so you can adjust your rotation if needed. For example, as a Fury Warrior, if you get refunded Rage on a Rampage, you may find yourself having to Rampage sooner than anticipated. So, being careful not to spend too much time overcapping on Rage and spending more Rage on Rampages increases your damage. So be wary of your resource refunding as it will change your rotation slightly and allow you to get better pressure off. As for the other two effects, this will just be standard passive abilities that will happen and will not require any thinking. Having more self healing and versatility will make you a bit more tanky in arenas, so you may want to choose this minor power for that reason alone, if it will be the reason you can live well against certain compositions. The classes that can benefit from the memory of Lucid Dream's minor power are Arms Warriors, Fury Warriors, Fire Mages, Unholy Death Knights, Demon Hunters, and Feral Druids. For Death Knights, your refundable source are runes from this essence, which can be great for achieving more pressure as well as making this miner a top one for Unholy. As Unholy, you could put your runes into more necrotic strikes, allowing you to keep up a ton of pressure. For Arms Warriors, this miner power is one of the best for them, as they are usually finding themselves starved of rage, having to wait for rage in order to use a global. So this essence helps grant more rage, allowing a better flow to the rotation, as well as increased damage as you're able to get off more global cooldowns for more pressure in an arena game. 
The minor self-healing and versatility buff also helps arms incredibly, as arms has no self-healing and the versatility buff provides more damage as well as increased survivability. As Fury, this can also be valuable due to refunding huge rage from Rampage usages. This allows you to fill up your rage faster for more Rampages in Arena or game, which is always going to be your top damage as Fury. Memory of Lucid Dreams is the best minor power for Fire Mages, as it provides Fire Blast recharges, an essential tool for a mage to get more instant Pyroblasts, increasing their burst damage. Compared to all other minor essences, this is the best one to increase your damage as fire, and more instant cast burst damage makes it more difficult for enemy teams to stop you from slaying them. Mule Fury for Demon Hunters allows for more Chaos Blades, dealing incredibly high damage from Demon Hunters. Much like Arms Warriors, this can be useful to fill gaps in your rotation, leading to more damage, whilst also benefiting from extra self-healing and versatility. This is also another great minor power for Feral Druids, allowing them more opportunities to get more pressure due to energy refunding. You'll need to unlock stages of this essence, starting from rank 1 going to rank 4, which has an effect on the essence in both major and minor powers. For rank 1, you simply complete a follower quest in Nazjatar, either a brief respite or down into Nazjatar, depending if you're Horde or Alliance. This will give you your basic version of this essence. For rank 2, it will be another quest for each faction, simply earning 3000 experience total with your followers in Nazjatar. You want to do the 3 follower dailies every day to get this essence quickly. This rank increases the duration of the major power on use as well as increasing the heal you receive as the minor power. For rank 3, it requires you to earn 6000 experience instead, thus rinse and repeating the follower daily quests to achieve this. You will gain a big leech from the major power effect, as well as gaining a chunk of versatility on procs in the minor power. Rank 4 is to gain an achievement which involves leveling all 3 of your followers to level 30. This will take a while, but bear in mind that rank 4 is purely a cosmetic appearance change when using the essence and will have no difference in power of that actual essence compared to rank 3. That's all we have on this Essence Spotlight Memory of Lucid Dreams edition. Thanks all for watching and don't forget to plus skill this guide if it helped. I'll see you on the next guide.